Um, but before we do that, Audrey is going to talk about some editing misconceptions and bust them. She's going to dispel three of those common editing misconceptions. So I think some of these account for why writers feel very nervous sometimes in working with editors. Um, this is a big one. You know, I'm going to turn my story in and it's not going to be my story anymore. It's going to get set on and that'll be the end of what I had in mind. Um, a good editor, uh, as Lisa mentioned, will help you enhance your voice, enhance what's in the story already, and make it better by showing you things that you might have missed and honoring, this, honoring the voice of the story while still striving to make it really as intriguing as possible for your readers. The second one, and I must admit for a long time I fell victim to this, having been writing since about this age, I thought, ah, you know, and, and also editing other people's things. I thought, well, I'm, I'm an editor, so of course I can edit my own stuff. And um, to me, it's kind of like a professional tennis player. You know, you think of somebody like, I don't know, Martina Navratilova or wh whatever example you want to use. Just because they're, you know, winning Wimbledon doesn't mean they fire their tennis coach. They still have a coach who works with them and observes their game and helps them improve it. So. Um, just as the way, the way a good editor will do that for a writer, no matter how much experience you have. And I wanted to put this one in here because we all know how easy it is these days to hit the publish button on CreateSpace and have your novel up there for everyone to read on Amazon. And so I think if you think to yourself, oh, you know, I'm self-publishing, I can do it all, I can save lots of money, this will be great. Um, if you look at, I just happen to have covers here as examples. Um, you know, you might want to have somebody, and these are proofreading things, you might want to have somebody proofread your cover for you. But I think the even bigger challenge when you're self-publishing, um, if, even if your cover is beautiful, if the reader opens it and is not compelled by the story and finds that it doesn't hang together or your character's motivations don't make sense or it's choppy or whatever it is, really your, your reputation is your book. And especially if you're hoping to have people read your book and review your book and buy more of your books, you really need to have that professional eye before you put something out. And I wanted also to mention some corollaries to, to these, which is for a, an editor to be helpful to you, you have to be willing to be edited. There has to be a back and forth. It can't just be somebody saying, oh, you know, you need to do this, and then you either, either you doing it and saying, okay, I'll do that, or saying, no, of course I'm not. It really needs to be a dialogue. Um, as we mentioned several times before, but I'll mention it again, no matter how well something is written, it can always benefit from editing. And this last one is really important too, because um, I think people take it to heart a lot when they get edited. Um, just because you need an editor does not 